Hey guys, how are you? This is Mel. Today we are gonna talk about the 2020 Corvette Stingray. Um, it's gonna be an awesome day talking about this, but it will be just me really reading through some uh, uh, information on Motor Trend about this car. So, uh, for me, uh, the new Stingray, just the design itself was pretty, pretty cool. I really like the new design. Um, it does have that Ferrari look. Um, it just screams um, supercar to me. Uh, what's attractive about this car is the price. The price is uh, the base price. Doesn't mean that the the price will vary on this car anyway. To let you guys know, so the base price will be around uh, sixty thousand, sixty thousand dollars for this car. Um, so that's the base base, and you guys will probably look at this car as uh, um, I just want to say, look at this car as a uh, as a supercar. <laughs> So, anyway, um, just the outside exterior of this car just make it, it just screams supercar just to begin with. So, they said uh, here it will have an engine uh, L2 6.2 liter V8. So, it produces 495 horsepower and 470 foot pound of torque so that's really really good so um that that has more torque than the lt1 found in the c7 corvette which is really cool uh it's gonna be the most uh powerful naturally aspirated engine found in the mid-engine american car i want to say uh that's pretty good um, and they're calling it the jewelry. Uh, that's that just that's what they call it a, ju a jewelry. Chevy to fit the L2 is less functional, but arguably as important. That's okay. I don't know what that is, but anyway. So it will also have a dual clutch, eight-speed dual clutch, which is really really good. Um. I mean the 8 speed is really mainly for the ga uh like for the miles per gallon to the MPG so you get better gas mileage. Um and it has a 0 to 60 of under 3 seconds which is really good and the base price $60,000. I mean I'll tell you this right now a lot of people will be buying this car a lot. It, and to me, I think, um, you know, it's very attractive right now for the car. And it looks really good in red. So, uh has a suspension that will also, th this is really cool. So, anyway, um, so it has this special uh, uh, electronic... Uh, device on it that will lift the car up uh, when there's a ram so you don't hit those uh, lip of the car of the Corvette so with the I don't know what they call it uh, I don't know what they call that but um, I just think it's gonna be cool with that Corvette um, having that kind of option so what you do is you go to your i guess gps and when you hit it when you see a bump or a higher bump so you push that button the car will race itself every time uh it's on that i guess uh map so what it, it will do it will race the car so um that's pretty cool and you can do about a thousand uh designations i guess with that so that that that's pretty that's pretty interesting you know um yeah 
So with, with that said, uh, just the overall design of, of the car itself is pretty interesting because just the body itself, it really screams supercar. And when you look at it, it, it will look like a $200,000 car, but it's only on a $60,000 base price, which is really cool. But I bet dealerships were going to mark this car up to the point where it's going to be around 80000 or 90000 or maybe even close to a hundred, because um, it has a different options on it. So um, with, with this car, I, I, I'm guessing that it's going to be it's going to be a lot. Um, this is really, to be honest with you, with all the 2020 cars coming out today, uh, the Shelby GT500 and the Supra, Toyota Supra, I think this car is going to is going to uh took over, take over uh the sales because um the the Shelby GT500 even though it's coming back um it has more horsepower uh and also the Toyota so Supra is coming back even though it has more horsepower but the problem is uh the Corvette it's like a supercar on a budget. So, I don't know. Uh, I think this is a major competition right now for Ford and Toyota Supras um, out there. So, uh, I think they're going to beat the sales of all the car sales this coming year. So, anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe. This is Mill and stay awesome. Stay cool and have a great day. Bye.